Today we are going to discuss about lapping zone for beam reinforcement. We cannot provide the reinforcement without lapping. Anyway, we have to lap the reinforcement. When you lapping the reinforcement, you have to consider certain things. Generally, we avoid lapping the reinforcement in tension zones because when there are tension, there is a weakness in the that zone because we provide the reinforcement to carry the tension. So when you lap the reinforcement in those areas, there will be a issue. Let's see how we can avoid this and minimize this. Let's consider a beam. Let's consider a beam and let's draw the bending moment diagram of B. We have a hogging moment at the support and sagging moment at the mid span. And this bending moment will be very like this. Now, as you can see here, there are two zones in this B. Right, tension source. This is tension at the bottom of the beam. This zone have tension at the bottom of the beam. In this zone, we have the tension at the top. Right? Here, tension at the bottom. We have to avoid the lapping in these two tension source. That is our requirement. But we cannot always do that. Because we have to follow the certain rules when you do the detailing. Something like curtailment. When you do the curtailment, you will always cannot be in the compression zone. If you are in the compression zone, no pointing doing the curtailments, we might go for the same reinforcement bar throughout this length. So let's see how we can do this you know, when you have a curtailment. B will be like this, then the bending moment will go like this. Say you have to lap the reinforcement like this. Right, so our lap is in the tension so this is the tension bending moment. So we are we are lapping in the tension so so we are cannot avoid this. In this kind of situations, we have to modify the lap. We have to modify modify the lap. You can modify this lap length to suit the tension requirement. Since it is in the tension zone, to meet the requirement in the tension zone, you can modify this lap. That's we can do easily. It is kind of a thing that increase in the lap length. To suit the requirement of lap length in the tension zone, you might increase. Otherwise, you bring this lap to here. Right? Now, the most simplest and easiest way, now if you have a bending moment like this, you might bring this lap there. So, beyond this point, if you can lap there, then you have a lap here, this is on the tension so when it is in the safe zone, but this cannot do always. You might have to go with this option one. You can modify the lap, and in the bottom reinforcement, also this the same theory will apply. When you lap the reinforcement in the bottom so zone, so you have a support like this. So you must avoid the lapping in there. So you better lap somewhere here. Somewhere there. Right? You should not lap the reinforcement in this zone. In this zone, you should not lap the bottom reinforcement. It is the critical zone. If you lap that, there will be an issue. Because now you provide the reinforcement to carry the tension. In the compression zone, we don't want to have a tension reinforcement because concrete can bear this stress unless there is a double reinforcement requirement. Other than that, if its section is single reinforcement, only we need to provide the reinforcement in the tension zone. So therefore, we have to be careful and we have to think about that when you do the detailing, you must avoid the lapping reinforcement in the tension zone. With that, I think it's very clear to you where are the best places you should lap tension reinforcement in the beams. Where should lap the reinforcement in the beams? In summary, you should avoid the bottom reinforcement lapping in the mid-span and the top reinforcement lapping close to the support. Close to the support. As we show here, we have done the curtailment here, but we have shift the lap by certain amount. This you can watch. If you can watch uh, our video on curtailment of beam reinforcement, you would be understand how we can do this curtailment. With that, we end the today's discussion on lapping zone for beam reinforcement.
please subscribe our youtube channel you may get the notification on new videos thank you very much for watching our videos